there welcome back to the studio so if any of you have been following my videos in the order that I'm posting them you will see that I'm still getting ready for my daughter's wedding it's coming up soon don't tell anyone this is the back of her dress so I am working today on making some resin trays we have cookies and cupcakes so they all need a place that's beautiful to be displayed so I'm going to work on some of those today now you may have the same intro for a couple of videos because I'm doing a several different kinds of trays. So some will be resin, some will be crafts that I have used pieces from hobby stores or dollar stores, and they're all gonna come out beautiful hopefully, and we'll only use the ones that are gonna be beautiful. So stay tuned and I hope you'll learn ways to make some beautiful things to display things All right, so today parts. I'm gonna work Thanks. on a three-tiered cake stand. Now the links will be below. And I wanted to show you that when you buy this on Amazon, this one is three circles. And it comes with a kit so that you can just put them together. And the other one that I'm going to work on, so I'm going to work on this today. This is a three-tiered cake stand that is square. And I'll put the link below. This stand comes with a gold fastener that divides the trays so that they're stacked. And let me make sure I get all the pieces out of there. I'll have to get a little piece of tape to make sure everything's out of there before we start. All right, stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, I'm all set. I'm mixing up my resin. And in this tray, I'm going to do pink hearts, pink tray with gold spray paint in my resin mixed in. And just let it be marble. So... So I'm going to take each of my tr my trays, the tiers of my tray, and I'm swirling a little bit. When the bubbles come up, it will still leave kind of a lace effect around the outside edge there. Now I haven't put my gold in yet, so that's going to affect it all too. So let's finish torching and get all that done, and we'll go for that. All right, so my molds are filled, and a good bit of my bubbles are gone, so I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some of the gold in here. And I'm actually going to drizzle it in a pattern that's kind of a stripey. I might just drag it through. check out how our beautiful pink three-tier trays turned out so it's been 24 hours and they are nice and hard I will have to leave them set a little bit longer uh, because with this resin they are still a little bit flexible so we'll see how these are happen all right so here we go let's see the other side Ooh, it's a beautiful cloud effect I kind of like that too although I really love this ring of gold hours more now I will show these to you at the end of the video as they are put together I do have a kit that includes all of the pieces. Now this one will have gold, 
if you haven't seen the blue one, the blue one will have a, probably a black kit on it. And I will paint the edges gold on both of them. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. Again, the cloud effect. I love that ring of gold there. And one more. Again, ring of gold. I'm being as gentle as I can to get this off. So I don't want to ruin my mold. So I'm going to come back to this and heat it a little bit and see if that'll help it. So I do have some hearts. I've made them uh, a variety of them. Now, some of my customers have asked me to do some keychains that are that have some of the their loved ones. In this case, um, it's a dog, and it's the cremation remains of that. And so, this is what those look like. So, a little touch of the cremains and and some gold. And the other side is a beautiful pearl and so what I'll do is I'll put a hole through this and I'll make that into a keychain so I also have purchased a mold that is ABC's and so in this case of this one this is uh, somebody's dog named Jake isn't that cute so that again is going to end up being a, a keychain for them isn't that nice all right. Thank you for watching. Again, I'll show you the three-tier tray in the end, and I hope you get a chance to try these at home with some resin. So this is how the pink one turned out. Isn't that beautiful?